Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone! Right now I am reviewing SH Figure Arts, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. They all pretty much have the same body with different face sculpts, different color bandanas and whatnot, and different accessories back then, so I might as well do them all at once. Here's what the front of the packaging looks like. Here's the artwork on this side. Just this artwork right there. And here are the rear product shots. I got these from Barnes & Noble. They're on sale right now. Get out there. Here they are out of the packaging. They have a surprising amount of articulation, like a crazy amount, even with these shells on. I'm not used to that, been messing around with some of the Playmates figures and whatnot. And they have amazingly tight joints. It's like these things are way better than I thought they would be. Right here, I stripped them down to their base form and they are completely identical. All four of these faces are completely the same, just with a different color bandana. Their belts are the same, except a different letter. Of note, the, the letter right there, that's made out of die cast. Everything from the knees down, die cast. The feet are die cast, the shins are die cast and they have die cast metal within their body, like in their joints and whatnot. I kind of feel like Leonardo has more die cast than the rest because he feels the heaviest. I wish I had a scale, I need to invest in one. And Michelangelo, unless I'm crazy, feels the lightest. He feels lighter than the other turtles. Now, when I say they're identical, even their bandana are exactly the same right here. They didn't change anything with the molding. And in the back, their shells are completely identical. They're all the same color. And one ongoing or running thing, the belts in the front, the belt is pliable because it needs to stretch and move out of the way. But this little removable piece, because they all have a removable piece to hold their weapons, is a slightly different shade. And the weapon holder part of the belt is definitely, is definitely noticeable. I don't know how it comes off right here in my video, but it's noticeable in person. They all come with the same exact four sets of hands. You may have noticed that I had different hands on them before I even mentioned this. But they come packaged with the base fist right there that's just clenched. This, of course, is the weapon holding hand. This is the dynamic posing hand. And this hand is for the, the non-traditional weapons and whatnot so that you can get tricky with it, like, so he can hold his size, and I'm gonna show you how to put the size in his hand. I mentioned their removable belt piece. You have to pull on one side, then pull on the other side, and then bring that out right there. And you know how you're putting it on right, because it has that little extra flat piece that will go up there. Basically, you pull that off, and then you put on their new belt piece, and this is significant, like I was saying, significantly lighter. So I don't like that. But basically, all of them have that for weapon storage. This should all be self-explanatory, but Leo's swords go in this way. And if you, once you get it in there, it's like you have to put, do an extra push to get them to stay in there good. Now, Raph, on the other hand, there is like nothing you could do. They just stay loose. There is no extra push or anything or nothing I've been able to find. And the reason why they did this is because in the animation, they used to flip flop. When they didn't have the weapons on their shells, it was just a regular belt. So sometimes it would have detail like this, sometimes it wouldn't. As far as accessories, let's start with Leonardo. If you want to change the head, you have to pop this part of the bandana off. You can't put it in upside down, which kind of disappointed me. I do wish, like I heard before, that it was on a ball joint so it can swivel around and you could change the position at least. And it's not a super duper secure hold anyway. But just pop the head off. You can see the joint right there. Pop the new head on. And this is really reminiscent of the old toys and the cartoon, but basically pop the bandana on this head. If I was being greedy, I wish all of them had like a super duper cheesy smile like they would have on some of the promotional images. 
back in the day. But here it is. You went from this basic face, and I'm not going to show these faces on all of them, to this right here. You can see the teeth. It's nicely point painted. Maybe they could have put some shading in there on the teeth so you can definitely see the definition. I mean, you can see it, but it should have been dark in between the teeth if I'm going to be aiming. The swords are nicely painted. Here's the handle. It's textured and everything. Well, it is what it is. It's not die cast or anything. I, I thought maybe it would be. But, of course, you would just be able to slip this right into his weapon holding hand. And to show it off, they do fit into these mildly open hands. The last accessory he comes with is this sewer cover. And it's reversed back there. I don't think that would be accurate. But I was hoping this would be die cast too, but it's not. It's just a piece of plastic. And he can hold this in his mildly open hand. I guess he can throw these at Bebop and Rocksteady. I don't know. Donatello has a nice long bow staff. I'm so happy about that. It's almost the full length of his body. Almost as tall as him. I like that. I, I was thinking it was going to be too short and that would have disappointed me. That's what she but said. It's not painted or anything. It's just a brown stick. It does have stick like details if I can get the camera to focus on it. But there you go with that. There's no tape or anything. But I think that might be accurate for the old cartoon and not the newer cartoon stuff. But of course, he looks nice holding this or whatnot. But as far as accessories, I think he got the short end of the stick, ironically. Now here is that old school promotional image happiness that I was talking about. I wish that all of them came with this because they were a little bit silly and goofy. And like I said, posing with this smile on different things. I think I had some bed sheets with this face right here. Lastly, he comes with this slice of pizza out of everybody he comes with the slice of pizza i would think mikey would i was hoping he would have came with the turtle communicator or or something and come to think of it instead of that sewer top maybe leonardo should have came with the box of pizza because i think all of them should have came with a slice of pizza if I, maybe that's being greedy but like i said donatello came got the short end of the stick he has the bow and a slice of pizza and the second head Everybody got a second head, but just a slice of pizza. No other type of weapon type thing. Here are the size on his back. The color match is better with him. Here are the size out of there. Nice paint. Good to go. Nothing sloppy. And it's got like a, a metal flake in there. Or metal fleck. I like to have him with these hands. And what you have to do is... Shove this between his fingers all the way up and then rock that into place if you want him to hold it like this, which is cool. I'm sure he did this in the cartoon. He also comes with this weapon right here. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure there must have been a time he used this in the cartoon. He could either hold them in this hand or the weapon holding hand. He also comes with this throwing star, so he has the most diverse weaponry well he can hold that in his hand if you like then this is a secondary head you could say he's saying something sarcastic or smart or maybe he's yelling at something now here is a problem with this head this mark right there is a mess up in the mold and unfortunately it seems to be a running thing as you can see right here I have extra zero complaining about it to me before he found out that I have the same issue. So, uh, going to go get it replaced probably won't help. And I, I don't know how that passed. I don't know how more than one person could, could get this. And this is the, the main quality control issue that I have. Besides, the belt's not matching on all of them. But like I said, they match with him. And now here's Mikey's weapon stored away. Mikey has the most functional weapon. I love it when they use actual chains for his nunchucks. But as you can see, nicely painted. Of course, that can slip in his hand. You can make him 
do whatever you want with them because like I said, functional. But I typically squeeze it up against his chest right there. So there's that. It also fits into this halfway open hand. But what I'm gonna show you off right here is they gave him this dynamically posed nunchuck so it can be halfway flung out at all times. He has that one and he has this one right here. So whichever way you wanna go, whichever way, whatever you think is best for your scenario that you're making. And because parent groups out there were so annoying, they stopped the Ninja Turtles from being able to even use their weapons on the cartoons. He started using this grappling hook right here, which is nicely painted as you can see. And this is also functional because these can clamp over. So I guess this will be a shut version right there. And this is fully extended. It has a nice rope right there in this handle. You can go ahead and wrap this part around the the halfway open weapon holding hands. And now he can wield this getting ready to throw it. With this footage right here, you can see that it is actually functional. I like his secondary head the most. I don't know, it just has so much character. It's like he's saying something smart or silly or goofy. That's all the accessories and now we can get to articulation and then size comparisons or it comparisons in general. Their shells. Their shells are on a double pole ball post. It's attached to their back. So let me just pop that out so, so you can see it right here. It's attached to the back. So there's a ball in there and a ball right there. What you can do with that is you can make the shell raise up and you can make the shell raise, I mean, go down. And when you make it go down, his neck can actually, it would be bumping, but now he can actually look up better than he normally would and like I said these are not a good connection so it might fall off while you're posing it you probably saw the neck articulation while I was doing it of course the heads rotate the head can pivot and the neck also pivots and goes down and up like I was showing shoulder articulation is crazy he has this hinge right here that's a butterfly joint. It goes in, like a lot, and back. You have this joint right here, which lets the arm raise up and down. Plus, there is a ball joint in there that makes the arm go even higher and lower. And there's a hinge that can do this. So he has four points of articulation. And of course, the ball joint can make the arm do whatever you need right there at the shoulder. They have bicep rotation. And just to show you, the arms can come across the chest very well, like so nice. They have double jointed elbows, and you know how these work. Depending on how you bend it means you get a better crunch, and it feels in right there, which is nice. The wrist is on a ball post. So it's like two points. It's gonna be hard for me to show it off with the hand in there, but basically, you can rotate the hands up and down, swivel it around, and of course the actual hand can swivel on that ball and rotate on the ball. Now if all that wasn't crazy enough, they have an upper diaphragm which is on some type of ball post, so that can pivot left and right, and this is not really attached to their body on the top or the bottom. The belt is keeping that together because the belt is connected to the shell. So you could, if you want it, slide this off if you want it. If you didn't want them to have the shell and you wanted them to just be naked. But let's show you even better right here. And of course it can rotate. It's only limited by the shell, but you can pop the shell out and get an even bigger turn if you want it. But that does make this look mixed match. Then in his lower torso, you have the same articulation. It can rock. He has like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but he has an actual waist joint right there. So you can still rotate his waist and rock left and right. It's better if I do it like that. And butt confirmed for the turtles. They have the typical figure arts hips that can pull down so you can get better outward motion, but 
the legs can kick out like that. They have this in there to cover up the holes or gaps. The legs can kick back about that much without bumping into the shell and they can come forward. And this is flexible so that gets out of the way. Now, the further you pull this down, the better frames you'll get as far as kicking it straight out forward. You might have to bend this shell behind the leg to do that, but I like that they have that option. Of course, you get the thigh rotation right there. They have double jointed knees, just like the arms. Now, the ankle articulation is where things fall flat. It's like a typical figure arts. The foot can go back that much, which is not that much. You can kick forward, not that much, but you do get the toe that can go up and down. Be careful with scraping because th this part of the foot is die cast. All of this is die cast and it's painted. They have plastic molded up in there. And the ankle pivot can go out that much and come in this much. I mean, I've been able to get some good poses, but it is kind of limited. I'm done with the articulation, but one thing I forgot to mention is I could wedge these in between that hand right there. So they do have a few limitations like in the ankles, as I explained, and the hips are not the best as far as forward motion. So that's a bit of a bummer, but everything else is good. Don't sleep on that diaphragm articulation behind and in between their shells because it works well for making things look a little bit dynamic. And as you can see, if you don't want certain characters to come with certain weapons, you can mix and match as you see fit. So I definitely like these guys and I could recommend them even at full price. Stick around if you want to see some comparisons, but basically the review is over. I like them. Here they are next to this Mega Blox Krang. It's the only Krang I have. I don't have that third party over $100 Krang. That's how big Krang is outside of there. Maybe you want him to be bigger. I don't know. He is made out of a gummy consistency. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Here they are next to their Mega Blocks self or Mega Constructs. Check five below. These things are cute and adorable and they're super poseable. I got a review for them. Here they are next to some other SH Figure Arts people. And Donatello is standing straight up. So that's how tall they are next to him. And I, I think that's about accurate. Here are some varying Marvel Legends figures. This will be the teenage body, so they're close to his height, but he is in the, he, he is taller than them. And finally, here they are with the Power Rangers, who are also a Bondi product. Uh, I think this height may be accurate, I don't know, but the actual official SH figure arts Power Rangers are shorter. They're probably they they're probably shorter than these turtles, so. This might be a better scale because the turtles were like 5'3", five, 5'5", five, five. I'm not sure. But the toughest part of any review is the comparisons. So with all this work I just put out, I hope you already clicked the like button. So once again, I love them. I like them. I'm going to leave you right here with this picture that I put on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at tman978. There is no dash or underscore or, or anything like that. It's exactly how it's spelled on my video thumbnails. <laughs> T-Man on 70. Out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those videos, baby. Click. Click the videos, you really should click those videos. Click that shit, go ahead and click that shit, if you did you would like it, really really click that shit, now I'm freaking gone.